Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we are looking into Gemini's inside of their mind reading for the month of November. Now in this message, we're going to tap into your energy, your person's energy. We're going to see what's challenging this between the two of you. Then we're going to dive a little bit deeper into your person's mind. And in this portion of the message, we'll look at what their perception of the challenge is. Anything that's hidden that you need to be made aware of, what their true intentions are moving forward, and the outcome if you stay in this energy. I'm going to clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice, guidance moving forward. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Now, please keep in mind, guys, the messages here on YouTube are general, meaning they're not going to resonate every time for every person. So take what resonates, leave the rest really about the title so if there's something in the title that's resonating for you then there's most likely going to be something in the message and for information on rituals for ritual kits for personal readings it's all linked below in the description box if you find the message is helpful if it's resonating for you please give it a thumbs up also guys if you like the vibe how i interpret the cards you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel everyone's welcome here and it does help set intentions for future messages so the tower is coming out here, Gemini, and the three of swords on the bottom of the deck. So something here is coming to an end. And I honestly feel here like this has been a long time coming. It's like you were supposed to leave this person a long time ago. Okay? I definitely feel like you're finally coming to that determination. Like this really isn't working. This person isn't going to change. And this is causing a lot of frustration, a lot of anxiety. Now, your person, for you, Gemini, we have the chariot, the death, and the nine of swords. Okay. So you have tried to make this work. And I also feel like you're the one that's putting your foot down when it comes to this ending. Your person here, the Page of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Ten of Cups. So this is an energy of them wanting to work this out. They want this to work. They're focused on creating a family. I feel here that this person, even though they may be taking a long time to heal, they are changing little by little. Now, the challenge here, and we're going to clarify all of this here in a moment. The challenge here, Gemini, the lovers, the hierophant, the page of pentacles. So part of the challenge is your view on long-term relationships is different. Okay, this long-term commitment, hierophant energy is your views on that individually are different. Maybe this person is older or has older views. Maybe you're the older one and has the older views. I will say there is an intense connection here, that lover's energy. The page of pentacles is there is no strategy. You guys are just kind of flying by the seat of your pants. I feel like you guys trigger each other a lot because of this lover's energy. You guys were meant to come into each other's lives to help one another heal. But again, guys, go back and watch any of my readings. There has to be a limit to the BS. Okay. It doesn't matter how intense the connection is. This lover's energy is still a choice. So let's clarify. We're going to start here with the chariot. The king of cups, the queen of cups, the knight of swords, and the nine of swords. I definitely feel like you and this person are always fighting. And I also feel here, Gemini, that you and this person have a hard time connecting emotionally. This person is very distant or seems at a distant all the time. A lot of sadness, a lot of worry with this Nine of Swords energy coming out twice. Let's reshuffle here. Let's get two cards for the Chariot, the Death, the Nine of Swords. Now again, Gemini, this person feels an intense connection. You feel an intense connection with this person as well. But I feel here you 
are focused on other things. Career, business, uh, you want this relationship to already have come together, to already have made this commitment. Let's clarify the Page of Swords, the Four of Swords with the Ten of Cups. person always comes back around and tries to start fresh, tries to start new, tries to start and without even maybe even reconciling or getting closure on past disagreements. That's where this challenge comes in. Now let's clarify, we're going to get into your person's energy a little bit deeper here. But first, let's clarify this lovers, the Hierophant, the Page of Pentacles for Gemini, the Hermit and the Star, <laughs> Gemini, know who this message is for. There is hope in this connection, but it's going to take time, and I don't feel like it's going to happen overnight. I also feel like you and this person need space. They need time to be on their own, to be able to heal by themselves properly before they're going to be able to be prepared for this connection. The star and the hermit. Somebody has to get clear on their path and start heading down that path full force what I really feel is coming out here, Gemini. So let's dive a little bit deeper into their energy. Again, guys, if you find the messages helpful or resonating, please give it a thumbs up. Let's first look at their perception of the challenge in this energy with Gemini. What is this person's perception of the challenge here, Spirit? Please and thank you. They have hope that this will work. I feel like this person feels like you're their person. They haven't felt a connection as deep as they have with you. But I feel like this person feels closed off emotionally with this Queen of Swords energy. They have a hard time connecting with you emotionally for whatever reason. Like emotions are not there. The Queen of Swords is, is indicative of a person who has gone through a lot of trauma in their life. And so they just look at everything very straightforward, very practically. And if this takes place, what's the worst case scenario? Nine of Swords. So you both feel the same about one another. I feel like this person worries that this is the last time. This is like the ending here. Anything hidden that Gemini needs to be made aware of? This person is closing themselves off emotionally this four of cups energy again guys you have to think of like in terms of what comes after the four of cups the five of cups which is regret resentment so they're headed along that path i feel like this person is trying to accept the situation for what it is and move forward but it's like they're always looking back So what's hidden here is they're in this energy of not giving up, but feeling like they they can never do anything good enough, if that makes sense. I do feel like you and this person have a lot in common, very similar to one another. That is why this is so triggering, okay? 
how can you make this work, right? How can you make this come together if that's what you want to do, okay? You're going to have to sit down and really have an honest conversation, Gemini, about why you're, you've come to this position that you're at right now with them. Because I feel like this is a long time coming. You are not always closed off emotionally or it would have never gotten to this. Okay. So what's this person's true intentions moving forward here with Gemini? Again, you have to get clear, guys, on your bigger picture vision. What do you want the outcome to be with this person? Is this done? Are you done dealing with this? The tower is here twice. So this tells me that this, there was some sort of disagreement, some sort of explosion, some sort of breakdown of the connection. Now you have to decide what you want to do here. Do you want to rebuild a solid foundation with this person or do you want to rebuild a solid foundation and choose yourself first, right? Do you need to build the foundation by yourself first and then invite this person in? True intentions moving forward. So I feel like this person sees you in their future. But they're having complications with money. Okay, they're trying to work something out here in regards to finances. And so I feel like it's almost like they want you to wait. They want you to wait and sit, be. This is something that you probably already know. Okay, maybe this is why you feel this disgruntled energy because you thought this person was already ready. So what's the outcome here? Gemini waits. So if you continue along this path waiting for this person, you're going to stay in this disgruntled energy. It's going to be a fight. I feel like you guys really bump heads right now. There's a need for distance here. Now, I don't, I'm not saying wait for this person by any means. I'm saying take your space, let them live, let them breathe, let yourself breathe. Allow this person to come back if they choose you also have a choice, okay? So if they're not, if they're in the same energy, you're going to continue on the same path. Does it make sense? So let's pull a few cards out here for your advice. Moving forward, Gemini. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. For information on rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. If you found the messages helpful, if it's resonating for you, you can give it a thumbs up or you can comment below how it was helpful. You never know how your story could help another person. And this is exactly what I was talking about here, Gemini. So focus on what you want your life to look like with or without this person. Okay, start building a solid foundation. And this tower could have already happened for some of you. Some sort of ending, some sort of maybe you had to move something along those lines. Okay, now you're rebuilding a solid foundation. Don't let this person come in and infiltrate that. Because Gemini, like I was telling you, they come back in the same energy. It's going to be a repeat of the same cycle okay there's something karmic that they're releasing here and this could be addiction this could be maybe a karmic connection maybe it's they're always allowing other people to infiltrate in their relationships as long as they come back in the same energy it's gonna be a repeat of the same cycle
So let's pull these romance angel cards out. Sum up your reading. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. And again, Gemini, don't wait for this person. Like, get clear on your path, build your foundation, and move forward. If this person catches up, more power to them. But if not, you can't wait. You can't hold space for something that isn't working. What I will say is there is an intense connection. So, so it is likely that this person heals and tries to come back around. But it will be in a different type of an energy. It'll probably be a long time, like six months to a year, if not longer. Okay? I hate to tell you that because there's this soulmate energy present. But if you look up twin flame connections, soulmate connections, soul tie connections, they all have different phases that they go through. And if you look up like twin flame phases... Twin flame connection phases. I'm sure the internet will pop up something about this is how you'll handle those phases. Okay. There is a soul tie connection here. So this is a person who you're not going to be so easy to let go of. There's also a choice that you have. Do you choose this connection or do you choose the self, yourself at this time? Free yourself. It's time to free yourself from the situation that's no longer serving you at this time. You have to grow. This person has to grow. And you guys are causing more harm than good vibrating together. So, Gemini. I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this energy. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. And I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste. Hey guys, so I just wanted to jump on and let you guys know about the book that I recently created. Now this is a must have for all tarot enthusiasts. You're going to get 15 unique spreads as well as an area to journal your reading along with journaling prompts to ask your guides during the reading. Let me just show you a little preview. The book is published on Amazon and is available now. So if you're interested in purchasing this book, I'm going to leave the link below in the description box. So let's dive into your reading. 